hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to show you guys how i made this braided wig and everything you need to know about this wig you guys stay tuned so if this is your first time here you're welcome to my channel my name is inkim please subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notification so you don't miss my next upload also give this video a huge thumbs up and leave your comment in the comment section so to start with i'm using a wig cap a loose closure net, a needle and a thread, a mannequin head, braid extension, and what else again? What, what, what do you need again? Wig cap, loose closure net, needle and thread, a crochet hook, a mannequin head, and a braid extension. So those are the six things you need to have for you to make this wig from the comfort of your home. I'm going to start with sewing in the lace closure net to the wig cap. I'm sewing from one hand to the other hand. And then after sewing, I'm going to cut the SS cap, which is wig cap, under the lace closure net, and then cut out the SS at the back after sewing. To make this wig, you can take around two to six hours, depends on who is making it and how fast you are in making your wig. So it can take you around two, three, four, five, six hours to make it. It can even take you days to make it. So just depend on how fast you are in making your wigs So this is the braid extension I'm using. This is color 39 and I've already stretched it and brush it out. That is why you saw the ends looking like that. You can use a pre-stretch hair, you can use any type of hair you have and you can use any type of extension you have, be it expression, be it darling superstar, be it um, there are so many braid extensions out there, you can use any of them. It must not be expression products or it must not be darling pasta products. Use whatever you have. Provided is a good hair, it's something that can take hot water. There are some extensions that when you put them in hot water, they bounce back. Like they just bounce back, but they don't collect, they don't, as in they don't take hot water. So those type of extensions, you don't want to use them in making your wigs or anything. They are not good. Even in braiding your own hair set, they are not good for it. So just try and look for a good extension, a good braiding hair that can take hot water. Just look for those type of extension and use. So right now, I am making the braids for the wig. This is the Ghana weaving method of braiding. This is not the feed-in method. This is the Ghana weaving method of braiding. Then after which, I'm going to sew this to the wig cap.
Now this is the thread I'm using. This is so close to the color 39 and when you want to make, make your wig, try and get a color that is close to the braid extension that you're using so it blends with the hair and everything will just go seamless. If you have a style already that you want to make, it's very easy but if you're creating your own style, you just have to pin up everything and then sew once. But right here, I have a style already in mind. I know this is an all back wig that I want to make. I already saw the picture and I liked it and I want to be creative. So that is why I will first of all sew this, then pin up the best ones for you guys to see. And after pinning it, that does not guarantee that that is how the braid will come out because you've not sewed it yet. This is a part you have to be very careful with when you're doing it. If your sewing does not come out right, the wig will not come out right. Now you have to make sure that your sewing is nicely done so that your wig will come out looking very beautiful.
So this is the wig after I finish sewing it, making the baby hair and then dip it in hot water and that is all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, leave your comment in the comment section and kindly subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed already. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss my next upload. I will see you guys in my next video.